A helicopter ride over the Thames would be a very nice way to see the capital, but it would set you back about £100. So we've found a way cheaper alternative, a 10 minute ride in an Emirates airline cable car. Okay, it's not a helicopter ride, but the view speaks for itself. You can see the O2, Canary Wharf, the city in the distance, and actually it's quite fun. And it only sets you back 350 for adults and 170 for children. If you're in the capital and feeling a bit peckish, well, there's a place to eat on nearly every street. And the sheer number of eateries means there are big discounts to be found. Deal Zap's Happy Hour and City Munch, for example, offer strong daily discounts and even occasional flash freebies. So if you're lucky, you may find there is such a thing as a free lunch. Meanwhile, restaurant booking sites like OpenTable and LastMinute.com let you filter by offers and often have deals such as 50% off or set menus for £20 and under. And if you're going to be eating out a lot, it's worth taking a look at discount dining schemes like Taste Card. Membership isn't cheap, but you can often find deals to find it for less or sometimes even a free trial. Do you want a free selfie outside the Prime Minister's home, number 10 Downing Street? Well, usually you can't. The street's barricaded off and you won't get past the gates. Yet, just a few minutes walk away, near Charing Cross Road, there's another door that looks almost identical. Number 10, Adam Street, isn't the real deal, but it looks like it, and you can get a selfie here. So, do be mindful, it is a working business office. You can take a free guided tour of one of London's most iconic buildings, the Houses of Parliament. It boasts amazing architecture, astonishing art, and is a place where some of the biggest decisions affecting the British public have been made for hundreds of years. A normal ticketed tour costs £25.50 per adult, but with a little bit of forward planning, you can get a totally free guided tour of the House of Commons, the House of Lords, and Westminster Hall via your MP. It's provided free of charge to help promote how democracy works. You'll need to contact your MP's office, but don't worry, it doesn't matter if you didn't vote for them. We're very lucky in London because so many of our museums are free, including the British Museum, the National Gallery, the Tate Modern, the Tate Britain, the v &A, the Natural History Museum, the Science Museum, and so many more. The British Museum includes the Egyptian Gallery, the famous Rosetta Stone, mummies, and at other museums you can see skeletons, Andy Warhol art, Picasso, and so much more for free. London isn't cheap and accommodation in the capital is usually costlier than anywhere else in the country. But if you don't mind the colour orange and maybe not having a window, well one option is a basic no frills room for as little as £20 a night with easy hotels. They have several locations across the capital including hotspots like Victoria, Paddington and Old Street. Okay, so don't expect much luxury, but if you're just looking for a place to rest your head after a long day in the capital, this could be just what you need. For more London money-saving tips, see our full guide for how you can slash the cost of a trip to the capital.